Hi, this is Hollywood. Welcome back to Behind the Mask. We're taking a look at some of Chaz's work. And Chaz, you uh, lived in Mexico for almost eight months. How did uh, living in Mexico inspire you to create this? Mexico, as you know, it's an amazingly surreal and very deep place. It's very layered with uh, the Mayan culture, Aztec, the European influence and everything like that. But for this particular painting, um, you know, I saw a dog. This is a Xolo Squinkle dog. It's a Mayan ancient dog that they're breeding now. It was the most beautiful, ugliest creature I've ever seen what in my life. What is it called again? Xolo Squinkle. Xolo Squinkle. Yeah, Xolo Squinkle. <laughs> that's the name of it. And, um, you know, I said, I want to paint this dog. So basically, um, to bring the Mexican feeling into it, I saw this little Mexican guy weaving some baskets out of straw. So I had my friend ask him because I don't, unfortunately, I don't speak a lot of Spanish. I had I had my friend ask him would he make this is the size I love to paint forty eight by forty eight. So um, so they um, asked him if he would like weave me a few of these, and he did. See, this is straw. This is beautiful. I'm noticing that the texture. Hmm. And I love the repetition of it because it reminds me of John Coltrane, you know, that musical repetition, that hypnotic thing. So I love yes. the, the continuity and the rhythmic thing that it gives me. And so I had to treat this straw, of course, with, um, I used to use, you see, 15 years ago, I would have used rabbit skin glue. I would have spent 13 hours <laughs> cooking this stuff. But now they have this stuff called PVA, which I, I treat it and then I gesso it. And then it could uh, withstand and well hold my oil paint through for hundreds and hundreds of years. And you know, I, I I went about you know creating this painting, you know, with these fast lines of enamel paint, and, and I filled in the spirit of this dog. One thing that really struck me about this dog, the large ears, and they were so erect and attentive. I, um, that was the first thing, one of the first things I started with, but. I wanted to start with the eyes because when I first saw the dog and I went, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he sort of looked up at me and I was like, that is what I want to capture right there. And those eyes were so attentive and so piercing. I think that this is a successful painting. I think I, I was able to like really capture what I wanted. I think you did capture it. it. You captured it well. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>